Okay, so what? here's what we got. We got our pickup, got our lumber rack, couple of 16 foot 2x4s, hooked to Louisville 24 foot ladder, the little getter on the top, got a winch right here, and all that does is hook to a couple of Prusik knots. When you pull this top one, see how it hooks the pipe? It's going to pull the pipe. This one can slide. In today's video, we're basically showing not the right way to do it, but a way of pulling a well. When you don't have a boom, a derrick, and all that fancy stuff, there's another way that you can do it, and we're going to show you again at your own risk. But if you're interested, come on along. This is a case where this fiberglass wrap tank has been here for, I believe, 15 years or a little bit more. Out in the sun, though, you know, Northern California Valley. And so eventually it cracked the tops, leaking all our air out. We're going to have to try to find a tank. So what's been happening since this is a conventional air-charged pump system is the crack in the top of the tank was letting all the air out. So then the pump would cycle too quickly and that was burning out the controller. We're going to go ahead and put in this bladder type system today instead of the conventional air charge system which should be less maintenance for the homeowner. Good. And then in order to be able to make that conversion full we're going to have to pull the pump and take out the weep valve so that it doesn't charge air because in a bladder system you don't need any air. Anyway we'll bring you along. First thing you got to do, kill the power, wherever that might be, maybe at your house or out here. In this case, has a, a control. Kill the power. Next thing we got to do is drain the tank. While that's draining, we might as well explain a little bit about a conventional well system, which you can look this up on YouTube. This is going to be a very short tutorial. Conventional well system. In the tank here, you have potentially half water, half air. You can't compress water, so in order to keep the pump from cycling often, you need air as a cushion. So in this type of system, in the well itself, has a weep valve. So every time the pump cycles, it lets water out a certain amount in that pipe so that it fills with air. Then on the top you have this air valve, which lets the air in after the pump cycles. Too much air is not good either, right? Because if you're taking a shower and you got air coming out of your shower head, not good. So this type of system also has a third element. This air control valve lets that air out of the tank if it becomes overly charged. So you have a weep valve in the well. You have an air inlet along with the check valve. And then this air control valve. Three parts to a conventional system. I'm getting you in here so you can see what we got so far. This is our tea coming out of the bladder tank. We've got an inch and a quarter threaded coupler here. We put our gauge on as well as our pressure switch. This is my favorite stuff to use for sealing called Rector Seal. Pipe thread sealant number five. We got a check valve because the one down in the well, remember we're switching over so we need to put one on top. We're going to hook in there and then hook in there and I'll bring you back in in a minute. We've got the tank in, we've got the plumbing done. Okay, so what, here's what we got. We got our pickup, got our lumber rack couple of 16 foot 2 by 4s hooked to Louisville 24 foot ladder the little getter on the top got a winch right here and all that does is hook to a couple of Prusik knots the key really 
to making this operation work of pulling a deep well is the Prusik knot. Now since we're going to be using this rope to pull a pump deep in a well, you want to make sure that it is strong rope. And since we made the video that you're watching, we've upgraded to this 3 8 boat anchor rope. It's very strong. But the key to this operation is the Prusik knot. So we'll show you that knot now. I cut this rope into two lengths, 68 inches each. So what you're going to do is take your rope and you're going to make a loop. Just like this. So you have this rope here and then you have this rope here like that. You're going to take this one, give yourself some extra, pass it back over like that once, twice. That's why it's called the double. And then you're going to stick it right in here. And I'll show you that again. You can dress it a little bit. I don't like too much of this sticking out because that's just a waste of rope. Make sure you have extra. So it's going to look like this with a cross on the front, barrel on the back when it's properly dressed. Cross on the front, barrel on the back. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Once you get to this point, you're going to take your rope, you're going to go around once, twice. And you're going to pass your rope through. And we can dress it. Now you know you've done this right. If you have the X's on the top. X's on the top. Barrel on the bottom. See that? X's on the top. Barrel on the bottom. Now watch what happens. And that can get really, really tight and never pull out. Now is where the magic happens because not only do you have one, you can see I've used these many, many times now over the summer. I think we've pulled five wells with these. You can see this knot's been under load. See how tight that is? Whereas this one's fresh, but it will tighten up just like this. Once you have your two Prusik knots successfully tied, now really this is where the whole key to the operation happens. Let's bring in our simulated well pipe. Now in order to connect to the well pipe, take your double fisherman's. You're going to pass the rope or in this loop around once. You're going to pass it again, twice. Now when you've correctly tied the Prusik knot, on this side it will look like this. On this side it will look like this beauty of the Prusik knot is no matter how you load it, it will grab. And in this case, we're grabbing our pipe. So that's one part of the equation. The second part is you have to put the second Prusik knot on your pipe. So again, we'll show you. Pass it around once. Pass it around twice. Tighten it up. You know you're successful when it looks like this on this side and this on this side. Now, let's say we're taking the pump out of the well. Taking the pump out of the well. You're going to hook this to an anchor back onto the winch and this to the winch. So when we're pulling the well, we're going to lift with the winch. What that's going to do is it will actually pull the pipe out of the well where your winch cannot go anymore. Now you let this down onto the anchor. And what that's going to do is grab this. Then you just slide this Prusik knot down and pull again with your winch. When that pulls, it's going to release the second Prusik knot and up you go. When you're putting your well back in, it's just the reverse. You can load this anchor and it'll hold the pipe 
and then load the winch which will release this second anchor and then down you go into the well like this when you've run out of space just let the anchor grab it slide this back up load it with the winch and down into the well you go it's very simple in concept but these two knots are the key to pulling a deep well yourself so now what you can see here is we have Prusik knot one and Prusik knot two and all those do is you pull up with the winch and then you can hold it with the second repeat until you get the pipe up going to do it for today. The moral of the story, don't be afraid to try something on your own. We were able to put this new tank in, pull the well, replace the weep valve, take out all the conventional air system, and go with this bladder system. And again, just with a few simple tools, you can pull your deep well yourself. So have a good day now. Thanks for watching.